With urban development encroaching on their natural habitat, a Queensland woman has tuned in to a novel way of encouraging native bees back into suburban areas. Louise Cosgrove is giving new life to retro televisions by turning them into nests for native bees. Welcome to a unique hotel where the guests are small, stingless and don't produce honey. They are just such intriguing, absolutely beautiful, captivating little insects. They really are. After being left 100 old analogue TVs by her son-in-law, Louise Cosgrove needed to come up with a creative solution. An artistic eye and interest in native bees inspired her to start building bee hotels. It's quite, quite an enjoyable process and... I've always been a little bit arty and it's got to look right. A large TV can take up to half a day to transform using wood and natural fibres found around the property. Little insects will get in there. In the hollows, the solitary bees lay their eggs and raise their young. These particular TVs are very, very suitable because they have such great ventilation. They've got all the correct nesting materials, you know, that I'm trying to get right. I want to do it right. Here on Louise's bush block at Jimboomba, there's no shortage of native bees, but she's hoping to encourage people in the city to make their gardens more bee-friendly. There are around 2,000 species of native bees and their habitats are being destroyed by urban sprawl. Experts say like the honeybee, they need protection. They need flowers that are flowering at different times of the year. So if we can plant different plant species, so this is constant source of flowers that will provide pollen and nectar for native bees and pollinators, fantastic. Everyone can play a part. Artificial habitats aren't too hard to make or limiting pesticide use can also help. Kathleen Calderwood, ABC News, Jimboomba.